I'm Marcus Shingles. I um, am based in California. Uh, just by way of background, I started my career at the Kellogg Company. I then was a, a part of the management team at Ernst & Young. Uh, I had my own business for a while, then I was a partner at Deloitte Consulting. I led the digital transformation and innovation practice there. At, and then I, um, oh, the good. And then I went on to uh, be the CEO of the XPRIZE Foundation. You're probably familiar with XPRIZE. They partnered with the ITU on the AI for Good Summit. So I was part of that. And then I was at Bain Consulting in the innovation practice. And now I'm currently building a digital city in northern Thailand. That's my day job, as well as running a nonprofit with my colleagues here. So let me get into this. Thank you for fixing the AV. Hopefully the audio works as well. Um, so we're going to talk about the metaverse. And I'm excited to be here. My team's excited to be here. You're going to hear from all of them in a moment. What I'd like to share with you is an opportunity around an NFT. Who knows what an NFT is? You probably saw all the hype. Everyone knows what an NFT is? Well, we're going to launch an NFT around the SDGs. How does that sound? <laughs> While supplies last, limited, so get here first. And guess what? These NFTs actually work in a metaverse because we're going to create an SDG metaverse land. This is going to be a very eccentric land where you can have avatars and you can pick your SDG and you can be an SDG in, the, in this environment and you have your own metaverse. And if you act quickly, Snoop Dogg has bought some land in this metaverse. Now, this is not the original Snoop Dogg from Los Angeles. This is the S Snoop with an SDG dog. And you can buy and be his neighbor in this digital world. And we're going to have initial coin offering. So we're going to have crypto, of course. We're going to have a token. And because we're here, we're offering the ITU attendees today a special treat. You get 20% off any land that you buy in the metaverse if you buy it today. Limited time access. First edition NFTs. There's only 17. Easy and convenient payment options. And, you know, we have really high hopes for this environment, this metaverse we're going to create. Because you've seen these headlines. These aren't fictitious headlines. Someone bought a, a virtual property in the metaverse next to the rap artist Snoop Dogg for $450,000. You heard this NFT that sold for $24 million at Christie's auction. So we're excited. Is it clear? You've heard of this, right? The metaverse? So here's the bad news. The bad news is about 60% of you, only, only about 60% of you realize that I'm joking. <laughs> about 30% of you think I'm serious and crazy. And why shouldn't you? These headlines I showed you are real headlines. This is what's happening. And the real bad news is about 10% of you are going to come over to the booth that we have over here where we're demoing virtual reality in the metaverse, over here all day, all week actually, and you're going to actually want to purchase some of Snoop Dogg's land to be his neighbor. What are we becoming? Maybe this. I feel like that guy. I used to play, who played this game when they were younger? I think there's NFTs and tokens in there, in crypto. I'm trying to make a point, obviously. Here's my point. And I'm being very serious about this and authentic with all of you. The hype around metaverse is spoiling it for all of us in terms of the real potential that we can use this environment and this technology for. We've been working in this environment for two years, long before Zuckerberg changed his name to Meta. And it's been transformative to the schools that we work with in inner cities including one school in South Central Los Angeles that six of the individuals on the stage graduated from. And now they've done about 20 metaverse projects over the last year and a half. They're probably the most advanced resources in this field. They're learning how to code the next generation of the internet, not 30 years later in a coding class when it's too late, but as it happens, they're upskilling into this. 